The Leap Motion Controller is best described as a Microsoft Kinect for your desk. It allows you to control your desktop or laptop by making gestures in the air, pushing and pulling, swiping and flicking like some kind of interpretive chair dancer. As with the Kinect, the initial applications developed for it were games, but we're starting to see it being pushed into exciting new directions, such as allowing you to manipulate and explore 3D worlds and models, even the anatomy of spiders if you like, though we could see this being more widely used for human anatomy. You can sculpt as if you were working in clay and animate puppets like virtual marionettes. We were intrigued about the possibilities for this, so we invited two 3D artists from London-based visual effects company MPC to the Tech Advisor Studio to see what they made of it. Joaquin Guitares and Patrick Harbon are 3D modellers whose previous work includes the zombies of World War Z and are currently working on Hollywood's latest boot reboot of Godzilla, which is out in May. After warming up with a few games, we let Patrick and Wacking try out the Leap Motion on a prototype add-on to professional level 3D software Maya. Here's what they made of it. You can feel that there's a lot of potential, but it needs much more development. It's very, um, there's something that's really naturally pleasant, which is just like sculpting with your hands mm. and being able maybe to use some gestures to control the navigation. But I like this, the zoom function. Yeah, yeah. That's that, cool. Yeah. It's just like the sc actual sculpting, you don't have enough precision. Yeah. It's almost like you would w want like a... You have to have like a little bit of pressure sensitivity for your, like for your fingers. It's more natural and comfortable and intuitive than, than sitting there and clicking with one mouth. Having ten fingers at your disposition gives you more potential for different controls. The thing is like it's not really doing what I want. Uh, <laughs> usually I make better models than this. <laughs> but. I think you have to get used to it. Like, I like the I like the idea that you can like, yeah. I think more um, precise controls. Like yeah, that's read. that's the main thing. But yeah, then like the sculpting is still is still so far away. So I mean, I would rather focus on. Like, it would be actually useful to like go through menus and quickly and stuff. But I think you would have to like you have to write write something for that like in like custom interfaces and stuff. Yeah, yeah, having so. Yeah, having a, having a, it replacing instead of having the ten finger sculpting application, maybe just focus on having the like a gesture um, application where yeah. you would have one hand to control the space and the navigation, the other hand to control different functions. And, I but, did like the feature when you could like when you could grab stuff. I mean that I could just I could I could use that like yeah. grab stuff and that could be a gesture. That could be yeah. that you say okay now I'm never gonna. But I would also like, yeah, I have to re have to rotate at the same time. Yeah, it's one the hand, other hand. Yeah, yeah. It. and then the other hand you can just move your, you know, select navigator. Maybe you can, I don't know, do something like this when you say okay, if I put one finger index up, it means I'm move translating in the in the y axis. Yeah. If you put your finger like that, you're translating in the x axis. Yeah, you would need a little user interface to with like. The yeah, way you could control yeah. it, but there needs to be a good default setting. Yeah. As yeah, well. yeah. You know, the Apple guys, when they came up with the, 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 the controls for the iPhone, you know, they, they had to come up with something that everybody would understand. Okay, pinch and yeah. zooming in and, and, and swiping is, is something that everybody instantly understand. And um, I think Leap has to come up with gestures like that for that as well, that, you know, okay, how do I pan? Uh, let me try doing this. You know. If it's faster, that, that, that's the key thing. It needs to be faster than a mouse or a uh, Wacom tablet. And also that like, you, you wouldn't be able to do it in, like, if it gets bigger, then you would have to like incorporate it to other programs like ZBrush and stuff like that. Because you couldn't, you couldn't do it on, like in Maya. Maya. Yeah, you could. Yeah, I mean, so. Maya is not really a software meant for sculpting yeah. anyway, so it would be Modbox, ZBrush. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm thinking. Like in Maya, it would be more useful to have like yeah, like something to rotate the and move, move one stuff one. around yeah. quickly. Yeah. That would be really useful in Maya. But the actual sculpting feature, because Maya is not really a sculpting software anyway, yeah. so. I mean, yeah, but it's cool as a demo what, what it could actually do. So, like in the future. But I mean, Modbox is also Autodesk. Maybe they could just <laughs> talk yeah. to them and <laughs> get a good plugin working for that. 